I'm Dan Cooney. And welcome to JCU On Campus, your lens to student life at John Carroll University. Our top story tonight, Student Union has a new executive team. Kim Rossi, who was elected president last fall, gave her inaugural address at her swearing-in on January 17th. In the speech, she highlighted focusing on issues of diversity and inclusion, and she promised to, quote, not settle for anything less than the best interests of the students, unquote. She also wants to promote innovation in the John Carroll community with the collective efforts of students. Before being elected president, she served as a senator for the class of 2014. Also on campus tonight, Delta Tau Delta fraternity recently received national recognition. JCU's chapter received a Hugh Shields Award. The award is given to the top 10 chapters of the fraternity's 132 chapters across the country. JCU's chapter also received a Court of Honor Award for their excellence in multiple areas, including alumni relations, community service, and academics. The chapter has been in existence for six years. In national news, the Senate is deliberating whether to confirm Chuck Hagel as the next defense secretary. Republican senators have been critical of President Obama's nomination of Hagel. Hagel is a Republican who served two terms in the Senate representing the state of Nebraska. He testified in front of the Senate Armed Services Committee a week ago. Democrats on the committee believe Hagel will be confirmed despite the objections raised by the GOP. Moving to international news, in a bizarre turn of events, the lead investigator in the Oscar Pistorius case has been replaced because he himself is facing attempted murder charges. Hilton Botta and two other South African policemen are facing attempted murder charges stemming from a shooting in 2011. While Bota was removed from the case, he has not been suspended and can still be called to testify at trial. The 26-year-old Pistorius, the first double amputee to compete in an Olympic Games last year in London, is facing premeditated murder charges in the death of his girlfriend, 29-year-old Riva Steenkamp, on Valentine's Day. And now we turn it over to Lexi with this week's Hipster's Corner. Right up next, we get the dish on some more celebrity news with none other than Elizabeth Egan. Thanks, everyone. That's all the time we have today. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time on Your Lens for Student Life at John Carroll.